Uh, this is the entrance to my base. I'll basically show you like everything. But before you even do this, I think it's best you just start with something over here. <laughs> So I think if you're gonna have a main base, you, you gotta have a shitty base first. So this is the shitty base, just like, you know, just do the tutorial, put, plant everything, blah, blah, blah. Just as long as you can get uh, enough resources so that you can start um, building your main main base, you know? But yeah, assuming that you have all of this finished, uh, you have the tutorial done, you have enough resources, uh, we're just gonna go over here and make the most efficient base farm so you don't have to worry about collecting so many fucking resources and all that shit, blah, blah, blah. So we have a bunch of things going on. So as as you can see, there, there's a big ass fucking wall. I didn't start with this wall. Uh, I'd say just first of all, start with the middle and then work outwards, you know? It's definitely easier to place things when you have a foundation like that. Just don't fucking use wood because of this. Um, but yeah, this is what I started with, just the berries and the wheat plantations. And another thing with the beds and the fruit bowls and all that, have them spread out. Don't have the beds in one place because your Pokemons will be working in different places. Let's say you have all your beds stacked over here, right? And someone's working all the way over there. If they come here to sleep and then they wake up, they might be doing the logging instead of the electricity. That's why I kind of have everything uh, pretty much spread out. It makes it a bit easier. Uh, for the animals to you know chill and all that and don't have everything in one place you know uh, also make sure you have uh, something like like these little things spread out for example a hot spring or like a heater it basically improves the efficiency of the piles for whatever tasks that they're doing and uh, just the chests as well uh, i like to use barrels just around the workplaces just because when they're transporting the goods it just it goes straight there, right? It doesn't go to like the main chest where you have all your other stuff, right? Don't aim to complete the base, kind of just have a nice working flow with it, you know? In the case that, you, you know, you don't know what to build or you don't know how to progress, if you ever get stuck, just go to this power box thing, right? Just look at what you need to upgrade here and then just follow that. Just take your time with it. Don't rush. Uh, have fun. Don't be a sweaty virgin. <laughs> Oh yeah, another thing I'll say about the building, you know, it doesn't really allow you to uh, go up like this, so you kind of have to like do like an accurate estimation of it, and you can kind of overlap a bit, uh, as you can see, you can overlap the other stones, which I did over here with this, and it kind of adds like a little cool effect, you know, kind of natural a bit, uh, that's as natural as I can, you know, think of it. <laughs> Whenever you're like enhancing stats and shit, I don't, just don't worry about work speed. I'd mostly worry about weight, stamina, and then attack and health because that kind of forces you to build better weapons and defense, right? Uh, it's kind of like a psychological thing. It's just kind of something like if I ever get lazy, I, I know like I have to upgrade some of my gear, you know, instead of none. I don't know about you guys, but I always find myself just getting stacking off on the gear and, and the equipment because I just want to explore. So this kind of like forces me a little bit to, you know, do the uh, equipment and the upgrades. The podium is a really fucking good because what you can do is make your Chipokemons work harder. Whenever your animals are kind of like up on sanity, like 100, if you kind of see them, they're close to 100, just bump that shit up, you know, don't be afraid of it. You can always set it back down. You can never have enough Ch Pokemons. Get every single Ch Pokemon, even if it's a chicken. So whatever you get from these bosses, don't upgrade this and then put this on top of it, right? Don't do that. Instead, just get the normal ones, like these ones, right? Just get those ones and upgrade those ones and then just save this one. Because the first one that you choose, see the blue tick? That's the one you're going to be upgrading and that's going to be level 2 stars. And this one is just orange. That's just going to be used for essence just to get them to level 2. So no matter how low it is, I used to think like the higher the level, the higher attack rates and all that, this guy will be... No, it's absolutely wrong. It doesn't matter. Even if they're all level 1s, it will be the same as having a level 100. Just try to get pals that do multiple tasks, right? And they'll do the ones that they need to do. 
Uh, let's say I want to make pulse spheres, right? All the equipment, uh, all of the material that I need are in that chest, that chest, and like other chests scattered around, right? So if you're within the circle, within the radius of this thing, right? This thing right here, this line. As long as the chests are in this line, you will have enough to craft. So you don't have to take the material in the inventory. It's just in the chests, right? And then once you do that, once you have them in the uh, thing over there, you can just craft as many as you want, you know? <laughs> I highly suggest you come to this location right here. On the map, it's just going to be this ice de des desolate, and it's actually behind the church here. It's just less of a hassle, you know, if you do everything now, have it all in that chest. Once your pickaxe breaks, that's when you go back. And after you break your pickaxe, you probably have enough by then. This is why I say, like, just upgrade the weight. So yeah, man, happy with the game, man. Sweat power world, fuck Valorant, and yeah.